Thank you very much for having this hearing. I really appreciate it. It says a lot about uh, Congressman Lynch that he's willing to do this. Um, first of all, um, I, I hope we uh, can have maybe more hearings in the future because it is such a horrible thing. And when I look at it, as you mentioned, with the face recognition and the DNA, you can see the face of totalitarianism in the future. You can see the degree to which if you have part of a population you don't like, you can control them, uh, you can oppress them in a way that totalitarian regimes in the past could only dream of. I'd like to thank each of our panelists today for taking the time, especially Mr. Issa, who's briefing us all the way from Germany. Um, it's disturbing when we learn that the Chinese Communist Party, what they're doing to their own citizens, and it is now undisputable that the Chinese Communist Party is engaged in wholesale repression of this entire culture. According to communist ideology, Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities living in this country are threats simply because they maintain their own religion and own cultural practices. Um, there is obviously a huge amount of atrocities, over one million people in concentration camps, widespread use of forced labor, uh, and birth suppression, which is almost beyond belief, includes invasive birth control measures, forced abortions, forced sterilizations. These tragedies are being perpetuated to overcome the culture and religion of the Uyghur people. I think what goes on in communist countries is when they see a religion, one of the things they don't like about it is it's something the government can't control. And in a country like communist China, the government wants to be able to control everything, which is why they almost always will be uh, opposed to any sort of religious freedom. Oh, I'm heartened by the recent passage of the Uyghur Human Rights Policy Act and sanctions implemented by the Trump administration. The repression has not yet stopped. The Communist Party has engaged in a massive disinformation and propaganda campaign. As we will hear from one of our panelists, the Communist Chinese Party even engages in hostage propaganda to whitewash what it's doing to the Uyghur people and silence Uyghur critics living abroad. We must not fall victim to this propaganda. Instead, we must continue to shine a light on what the Chinese Communist Party is doing to the Uyghur people, and we must consider whether further legislation is necessary. Uh, I am going to point out that I think China probably feels very good of itself because they've had so many material advances in the last 20 years, but people care what the United States and Western countries think. And we have to make it clear that to be an advanced country does not just mean making a lot of electronics or having a lot of cars. Uh, to be an advanced country means, to, means freedom. And I, I think that's why this hearing is so important. Hopefully the Chinese leadership hears about it. Hopefully they realize that we are appalled. And hopefully the American business community some of which I think are happy provided they're making money and don't care what's going on with the Chinese people. Hopefully this committee hearing will also cause some of the well-heeled American business types to wake up and realize that uh, when you're dealing with China, you are encouraging this sort of behavior. So again, thank you, Congressman Lynch, for doing this hearing.